اللهم اجعلنا مستحقين نقول بشكر يا ابانا الذي سمعت او فاضر او ارتنا thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth forgive us our sins امين Catch me when I'm falling. 
in the name of the Father. Amen. I'm glad to see you in this holy church, this holy place, and to have this opportunity to be amongst you. Uh, I came to this place uh, many, many, many years ago, but now successive generations are coming on the scene and we are glad to have you with us always one after the other they may be all generation huh? from generation to generation and to the end of all ages of ages amen Jesus said to us give me your eh, heart and the heart is composed of four compartments if you would like to contemplate on this we used to put God in the first one good very good then relatives and friends in the second one. And then the material things in the third one. Then the negative things in the fourth one. Something like that. Yeah, and we are putting these relations uh, uh, on, on this, on this uh, like that. God, number one, relatives, Baba, Mama, my family, and, and my friends, number two, the world and its material things, number three, and the sin, number four, the lusts of the body and of the psyche. But we thank the Lord when he comes and takes this heart as a whole and takes the four compartments, he will deal with them in a different way. God, yes, I am here in the first compartment, but I'll not be confined to this compartment. I want to take all your heart. Why, God, I want to have this and that. Yes, but you don't know exactly what's wrong, what's right, what's better for you to take. You may take something that may hurt you. In many cases, we had selections, and decisions and choices that caused a lot of danger to our life. Therefore, it's good to ask God, dwelling in the first compartment, saying to him, please God, give me the wisdom to choose my friends. This is number two. Give me the power to deal with the world and the materials of the world. Number three. Give me your Holy Spirit and blood to sanctify me and sanctify this fourth chamber that's the chamber of lusts and sins we need the Lord to dominate our life and take all our heart because this is beneficial for us he will benefit nothing we have no God is infinite if you know in mathematics infinity if you add to infinity it's nothing Subtract from it, it is the same. Infinity is infinity. God is God. God is almighty. God is unlimited, omnipotent, everlasting. And therefore those who are living with God are asking him, please come and bless the second compartment. That is my relations. At home, in the school, and in the society. And number three, God bless all the material that I am dealing with. The material may be your study in the school, may be a job, may be a project. All these are called the materials. The last thing is sin, and this is the most problematic sin thing. Jesus, come and dwell in my fourth compartment. Occupy it, please. Once you come, the devil will flee. Once you come, the sin will get out. 
Once you come, the lusts are going to be defeated. Through the Lord, I can defeat all this. You know what St. Augustine said, I stood on the top of the world when I felt that I fear nothing and lust for nothing. لا أخاف شيء ولا أشتهي شيء. I don't fear anything and I have no lust in anything except you, God. That's why he said, David, the prophet was saying to Jesus by the eye of prophecy, إلى اسمك وإلى ذكرك شهوة النفس. Isaiah قال كده برضه. إلى اسمك your name. Well, Adikriga mentioning your name is the lust of my body and my soul and my spirit. Jesus, therefore, should be the lust, the pure, the everlasting, the holy desire. Because this will cause the other lusts to flee and to go away from our life. And we are very glad that in our Lord Jesus Christ we had the blessing of the Holy Communion. You remember the, the verse, who eats my body and drink my blood, I, I abide in him and he abides in me. Mara ulu dwelling, Mara abiding, kollu hell, and he is abiding he is dwelling inside our hearts when you take the Holy Communion. When you pray, you are speaking to the Lord, He listens to you. When you read the Bible, the Lord is speaking to you, listen to Him, please. Open the Bible daily and read something. Even few verses in the Bible. And put your ear towards the mouth of God what he wants to tell you today. He will give you a message for today, a message for tomorrow, and after tomorrow, all the days of your life. Therefore, we need to have this, so to speak, a circle of, I speak to the Lord through the prayers of the Agbiya, of Jesus' prayer, of your uh, prayers that you form by yourself. All your prayers are getting up to be in touch with heavens, with God. God is going to listen and respond and come to you, not only by listening to you, and not only by teaching you the Bible, and not only by giving you the doctrines and the teachings of the church, but also by giving you the Holy Communion, the Lord inside you. David said, God is my shepherd. Huh? Huh? Psalm 23. God is my shepherd. I shall not want. And we are not dealing with a shepherd now only. He is the shepherd. He is the sacrifice. So to speak, the, the, the sheep. And he is the leader. Leading us all. He is our savior. And through his salvation... We could start a new life in Christ and could start a new life in the school, in the, with the media, with the friends, uh, the different activities of life. You are going to deal in a different way because you have a different mentality and a different spirit. Your mind is for God. Your heart is for God. Your entire life is for God. And God will bless us when we have this relation with him. He will bless everything in your nature. Bless your body, give you a good health. Bless your psyche, a restful and peaceful psyche and soul. And an illuminated mind, he will illuminate your mind by the words of the gospel. You are going to be enlightened by the gospel 
and nourish the spirit, having the Holy Spirit inside you, your spirit is much nourished. And at last, he will give you good social relations with your friends, with your family, in the school, in the society, and with the world at large. Let us ask the Lord who is dwelling in heaven and who was incarnated and came down and became man. We ask him to come inside our hearts, to live inside us, around us, and lead us towards the kingdom of heavens in order to live with him forever in the holy kingdom. Thank you very much for coming. I will not keep you late. I wish to thank our blessed father, the priests, and all those who are caring for you as Sunday school leaders and teachers, and these uh, young kids that we are uh, speaking to them now. Thank you very much, and uh, have good time, not only today and tomorrow, and after tomorrow, but all along your life here on earth, and forever in the hands of our Lord, Jesus Christ, when you give him your heart, he will give him his heart. And the deal of Alba, how I deal like Albu. Now, Alba can take the kid to Zayar. Alba, Rabbi, I buy very wide, very wide. Therefore, if you give yourself to God, you are a limited person. He will give himself to you. He's an unlimited person. Will give you something. Immeasurable, unexplainable. <laughs> you cannot explain because it's above our our limited minds. You know this story of the minister who was Christian, and the king was not believing in Christ, and he said to the minister while they were walking on a, a lake the shore of a lake. Uh, do you believe in Christ? Yes, I believe. Is, is Christ limited? Just a man? No, he's not a man. He's God man. The minister said. Then the king said, I want to put this God inside my mind. Please put it in. He said to him, Your Majesty is uh, something, I know, three days opportunity, otherwise you are going to be punished. You are a Christian, tell me who is Christ, who is Christ. I want to have this unlimited God to be inside my mind. After two, three days, they were on the seashore and uh, drinking tea, and the, after drinking tea, the cups were empty. And the king was passing by the lake, moving here and there. And the minister sitting said, what to do with this? He wants God to be inside his mind. How can I do this, God? Please tell me what to do. And then God gave him an idea. King came back and said to the minister, huh? tell me who is God, where is God? Why God is not in my mind? Put him in my mind, please. I want to contain him in my mind. Then the minister said to the uh, king, after filling the cup of tea by the water, the king said, what are you doing? I'm, I'm trying to put the lake into the cup. That's it. Are you mad? No. Your, your majesty, don't insult yourself. If we cannot put the lake in a cup of tea, we cannot put God, the Almighty, the Omnipotent, the Unlimited, in our limited minds. Hello, thank you. I believe in God. Rabbeinu Barak Fikum, we always we are blessed and enjoyed by seeing our uh, coming generations in lands of immigration in, uh, in America. You are not immigrants, you are Americans. And uh, 
having Egyptian roots, but I wish that you be proud of these Egyptian roots. You know, I mean, بيقولوا علينا وي كول اس ان ان ايجيبت الجبت مش كده؟ الجبت سمعتوها الكلمه دي؟ الجبت الجبت دي هي ايجيبت هي ايجيبت بيكوز ذا فيروز وين ذي هاد ايجيبت حك بتاح ذا جاد ذا لاند اوف جاد بتاح وان اوف ذا فيروز جادز ذا جاد The, 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 the land of God Ptah Ha Kiptah in, in hieroglyphic Ha Kiptah Kipti Kipti Egypt Mish, mish Greek Biyululku di gaya Egyptian Greek La Da baadin ba Greek di gad baadin Lakin ehna as the, you, know, you know descendants of the pharaohs We are, we are 7,000 year civilization Very ancient civilization Before everybody on earth Therefore, we were the first people to know God, the one God, Ikhnaton. The Pharaoh, the Egyptian Pharaoh Ikhnaton, was believing in one God. Thousands and thousands before the Greek civilization and before uh, Christianity and uh, any other religion. Therefore, we believe in God, in one God, many, many, many years, thousands of years. before everybody. That's why we are sticking to our Lord, asking him to bless us, to keep himself inside our hearts, our families, our churches, our communities, and the world at large. We are asking him to bless us all. God bless you. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. have a hymn and then uh, prepare your questions for say in a question and answer session after yeah. him. Are there any questions? Or no
بخش يا سيدنا احنا وي هاد ديسكشن ان ذا يوث ميتينجز وان تايم اباوت لاست اند ديزاير ذا ديفرنس بيتوين لاست اند ديزاير سبيشلي لاست از سمثينج ذات جوت كريتد انسايد اس اند لاست هاز تو بارتس ميبي ا جودلي بارت اند ان ان جودلي بارت سو وي نيد تو انديرستاند فروم يور هوليس ال ديفرنس و اوكي لاست اند ديزاير هي في اذر ويرز كمان يعني فاحنا نقول الديزاير كان بي وايد سكوب يو هاف ا سبريتشوال ديزاير فور هيفنز فور جاد ايتش بيرسون هاف ذيس انسايد هيم ان بيلت سبريتشوال ديزاير سم بيبول would like to know before you want to know you must be searching for and aiming at knowing this i want to know this then you open the book you go to the the internet and so on therefore it's a matter of a spiritual desire in god an intellectual desire in knowledge different types of knowledge then the last the psychological desires and these are many the psychological desires can be the emotions loving this and not loving that emotions for people emotions for things loving money and so on emotion for values loving boldness and so on. therefore you can be having a spiritual desire for god and spiritual things a psychological desire for people things and the like uh, the habits are in this field if you like something and do it and you are pleased you repeat it you are pleased once more you are pleased it becomes a habit and the collection of habits makes the personality they say in psychology the personality is a collection of habits walking on two legs you have a lot of habits in your life positive and negative therefore let us increase the positive and decrease the negative habits therefore your body has its needs you must give him the needs the, the food the sports and, and and your psyche needs also to have some emotions with others loving your friends brothers and sisters around you loving certain uh, goals in your life a certificate to achieve and and your mind must be nourished always and we nourish our mind through the bible because the bible enlightens our mind and also through the books reading different types of uh, knowledge through the internet you can get to a vast media and world of knowledge it it it, 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 it didn't stop it will never stop always 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 broad and broad and broad therefore you can have a lot of knowledge through the internet but better to have the bible to lay or because the bible enlightens you to have the so called critical mind critical mind yani you, you you read something know something and then you judge it by your head because here is the holy spirit and the light of the gospel and the word of god illuminating you therefore when you are receiving any data any knowledge bitgharbalha you are going to make some sort of screening to the knowledge around you to be applicable and to be gods and to be building you positive and not negative the knowledge then the spirit this the holy spirit will fill you and the holy spirit will give you the body of the lord and the blood of the lord whenever you take the holy god will be dwelling inside you 
God is dwelling inside you. At last, in the social life, you are going, if you are built in the best way, good body, restful psyche, illuminated mind, nourished spirit, you are going to have good relations with the family, with the friends, with the church, and with the world at large. It's, it, it goes like that. Therefore, we are asking God, all of us, to have this, so, so to speak, the integrated personality. Having a, a, a body that is good, healthy. No cigarettes, no smoking, no drinking, no uh, HIV, and nothing from this source. Therefore, having good body, and healthy body, very important, having a healthy psych, that is good relations, loving each other in a spiritual way, all of us, and then illuminated mind, having the Lord enlightening our mind by the word of the gospel, and at last spiritually we are taking the Holy Communion, the Holy Spirit, and we are going to be God's people, God is dwelling inside us. At last, we are going to have a good social life. If you are not built like that, you cannot be having a good social life here, either in the family, quarreling day and night, or in the church, also the same thing, or not going to the church, or the society, you are not pleased with the people around you, and they are not pleased with you. But through the Lord Jesus Christ, when he dwells inside you, you are going to enjoy this integrated personality. Good or healthy body, restful psych, illuminated mind, spirit, spirit nourished by the Holy Spirit, and good relations in all these fields, the field of the family, the field of the school, and the field of the church, and the society at large. Thank you very much. You are, eh? you, are to, you want to say something? Take the microphone. Come here and say. Okay, so Your name? Uh, Marina. Mar Marina. Marina. Okay. So, uh, Niftek told us um, that um, even if I have integrated personality, um, you said that the last, f you said like how can we put the like spiritual desires in us, but how can we take out the lustful and the and all this stuff but because it's already built in and um we cannot stop it because it's kind of yeah. a good a good question thank you very much marina and th this this you know as uh, this compartment having sins and lusts and 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 this this is our efforts spiritually all over our life here on earth no time will come when you say, I am sinless, I am holy, I have no sin. Had <laughs> the No, sure, sure. Therefore, we are all the time, as long as we are on earth, we are struggling against the body, against the psyche, against the different thoughts around us, against the, the, the devil, fighting against us, uh, uh, we are fighting, but we are more than conquerors. More than conquerors. In the Bible, يَعْزُمُنْ تَسَارُنَا yani Our victory will be magnified. But literally, in Greek, we are going to be more than conquerors. You are going to to, to defeat the devil, defeat the body, defeat the world at last, and be more than triumphant through huh? Jesus Christ. Let Jesus Christ come out of the equation, everything will come down. But have Jesus Christ in, everything will be out. Thank you very much. Thank you, Abun. We would like to thank uh, God for uh, the presence of uh, Sayyidina Amba Musa with us, Bishop of Youth.
uh, who talked about uh, the verse, give me your heart, my son, and uh, keep your eyes fixed on my ways. Ya ibni, a'tini khalbak, wal tulahiz aynaya, aynaka turqi. Uh, tonight we're going to have uh, Sayyidna back at 7.30 uh, with the people, uh, the congregation meeting at 7.30 talking about limits of relationships. would like to have you say that. Estos es muy animo, me vi a romar y bec nine te querini o es of them becla o sodia mono o nainan a que chi et caris en muy sistema to y vente manchita de que met hello en te a cubeno gana en te maso la bica tiet sot vente david y sofía en te solo mon bien de man para que ton vieta vigen ni apostolo se pues de viari bon que no tavo era tan peñote tayote. Papa Abata, Wadros, Nepenio, the Nebes, Cobos, Ava, Moose, I have not in Tate, Baby, Tagro, Hijan, Bay, Fatronos, and Han Mission, Rombi, and Han Seo, and Hedi, Nikon, Veo, and Nogaji, Tiro, Saba, Sit, and Noe, Chalab, Gen, Coli, Tobe, Christo, Seriagon, Novina, Nebo, and Orin, Grabe, Nest, and Nice, and Kiria, Lay, Song, Kiria, Floki, Son, and Minis, Moro, is more. He met on a coney, will come be it. Christos, Benoti. And now the King of Peace, give us your peace and give us the blessing of the Son of God, our Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior, and the sanctification of the Holy Spirit for our hearts, bodies, souls, and everything. In the name of the Lord and the intercessions of St. Mary and all the saints of the Church, Please accept our prayers when we pray together, saying, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Give us this day of daily bread. Forgive us. Leave in peace. May the peace of the Lord be with you. Thank you very much.